Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, he had called for a special legislative session. And the goal in mind here, really, there, there was several, but the main here was to pass legislation that would ban businesses from implementing jab mandates on their employees. This, of course, is in response to the OSHA and Biden jab mandate that they're trying to put on the whole country. But the Florida legislature could not get it done. So what did they get done? Well, we'll talk about it and much more in just a second, guys. First, if you can, please like this video, share it, hit the bell, subscribe, and wear the glasses because I'm blind. Also, if you could, consider making a generous donation to our ministry. We're demonetized on YouTube. They don't support us. You guys can help us out in a major way. If you enjoyed the daily video content we put out talking about end-time Bible prophecy headlines and our ministry of getting people to Jesus Christ for five bucks a month on Patreon or PayPal, you'll get bonus content. We include the links to the YouTube videos to get all alerts when new content arrives. We also include Rumble exclusive videos up there. Links to those on the Patreon. Those are videos on Rumble you're not going to find on YouTube, okay? So go sub to me on Rumble too, guys. I mean, you, you're not going to want to miss it. Trust me. All those links are down below. A big thank you to everybody already contributing. For those thinking of doing so, thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. So what happened here in Florida? I thought they were going to get this done. They didn't get it done. They got some things done, though. And I'll give him credit for this. And this isn't Ron DeSantis' fault. I'm not blaming him at all. He wanted this done. There's only so much he can do as a governor. Yeah, he can put it in an executive order. But they wanted to get something passed at the legislative level. Now, he actually signed these bills. And this was funny. He signed these bills that they did pass. There's like four of them total in Brandon, Florida. So you, you know why he did it there. It was at a Honda dealership. He did that to send a message to Mr. Joe Biden, Mr. Brandon, or the Brandon administration, if you want to call it that. Uh, the bill here with the private businesses, they, they were able, the Florida legislature, to at least pass a bill uh, blocking the public sector from implementing these jab mandates on their employees, but not with the private businesses. The only thing that they were able to accomplish with that is that they increased the amount of exemptions that companies need to be giving their employees. So unlike here with the Biden and OSHA deal, how your options are basically you get the jab uh, or you test on a weekly basis, um, and in some cases, they'll allow for religious or medical exemptions. But even then, really, your exemption is taking the test. So what the legislature did here is that they included more exemptions that these businesses will have to go by. Now, this includes a pregnancy. If you're expected to be pregnant, if you've had the virus before and recovered from it, they'll count that as an exemption as well. Uh, also, if uh, you use, you know, the PPE type of equipment, you can go ahead and count that uh, as an exemption as well. And for any business that does not comply or allow for these exemptions, they also have the testing on there as well, which is what Biden and OSHA were already doing. But for any business that does not comply with this, heavy fines will be going out. I mean, even for businesses with less than 100 employees, up to $100,000 in fines could happen here. Businesses with more than uh, 100 employees, $50,000 fine. So heavy fines, no doubt about that. This was the best that they could do for the private sector. They didn't want this, but they're making other strides here. Now, I'll keep, keep this in mind. Still right now, to this at the time I'm recording this, Montana, the only state in the country still that has actually passed legislation outright banning jab mandates on employees, whether it's private or public sector. They did that back in May, ladies and gentlemen. Here we are in November and states are trying to get this done now. So they were way ahead of the curve. So good on Montana. You're still leading the country when it comes to this. But here's what else they were able to pass. They passed a bill that now bans the Surgeon General from being able to mandate jabs on the state. Now, those of you who may not know that was actually implemented. Yes, it was all the way back in 2002 that a law was passed there in Florida that would give the Surgeon General that right. And this was, you know, back during 2001 with the whole anthrax deal and the scare and everything that happened with that deal. So the Surgeon General will now be stripped of that power, which that's a good thing. 
the other bill that passed. And I, and I believe this could eventually lead to the banning completely of the jab mandates on all the businesses in Florida. And that is this, that by January, Florida, Governor Ron DeSantis, he signed this into law, will be developing a plan of their own to withdraw completely from OSHA and develop their own system in the state of Florida. They would not be required to follow any guidelines from OSHA if they're able to put something together themselves. It's a very unique piece of legislation. Now, I've heard of other Republican lawmakers that have actually tried to implement legislation that would completely ban OSHA as an organization altogether. Now, whether that happens or not remains to be seen. That'll be kind of tough to do right now in the Congress at the federal level, especially with Democrats in control at the time. But for Florida to be able to actually withdraw themselves, their own state out of OSHA, develop their own, you know, a kind of replica of that, that's very interesting to me. And well, they probably would not have to abide by anything that OSHA sets forth. Now that's even if the Biden OSHA jab mandate goes into effect. Currently, right now, at the time that I'm doing this, this order has still been blocked by the appeals court. So if this doesn't even go into effect, well, then we got nothing to worry about. But long term, what the states are thinking about here is that, well, they want to prevent this from ever happening again in the future. Now, the president gets in, they try something else similar. They want their state covered, just like Montana did. So good on the OSHA deal there. And then the final bill that they did was actually putting out the legislation now banning schools from being able to implement the face diaper mandates. Now, there had been an executive order on that. And you know that a lot of these school districts were fighting DeSantis. They were going into the courts back and forth. You know, they were ruling in favor of Florida, they were ruling against them. Well, now they got the legislation here uh, that says that no school can implement this. This is actually only on the parents. If the parents want their children, to wear a face diaper, that'll be up to them to go ahead and decide, not the schools. So I think that's great. So all in all, not a bad effort, not what they wanted. DeSantis even admitted this, and he actually, uh, and actually, he actually blamed Rhino Republicans uh, within the Republican, you know, dominated legislature on the fact that they could not get the complete ban. And that's sad. So that means for those of you that live in Florida, when these you know rhinos are up, and I'm sure you'd know more than me, uh, you need to vote them out and get people in there that are actually going uh, to have true conservative principles. And that will not allow stuff like this to happen in the state of Florida. I mean, really, this goes for people in all states, and all red states especially. You got rhinos in there, get them out. Bottom line, he said it as much. So you know that's what prevented the complete the complete ban here. So. At least they were able to get a few more exemptions in here. They banned it at the public sector. We got the OSHA deal, trying to get them to withdraw from that, and banning of the face diapers. So a lot here is done. What do you guys think? I'll put a link down below in the description. It'll give you some more information on these four bills that were signed. Um, it's just another sign, though. The fact that you even see this happening, another sign where in the last days, Jesus Christ is coming back soon. Uh, you know, you didn't used to see this having to sign bills to fight this sort of tyranny, but we are. And we're getting closer and closer to the return of the Lord. And like we do on all videos, we want to give those watching right now the opportunity to receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you have not done so already, I'd love to lead you in a prayer. You could put this prayer in your own words, but I'll give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. It's the first thing that you want to do. For some, it's the most difficult, but that's to acknowledge that you're a sinner. It's something that we all are, but God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid that cost. Your role, though, what you have to do is repent of your sin. That means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry, but to turn from lifestyles, habits, whatever it is in your life that goes against the word of God. You ask Jesus to forgive you, he'll wipe that sin away. The Bible says he won't remember it any longer. And then... You invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. I pray you make that decision today. 
Again, I'll have more for you guys on this down below. You can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you can help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.